Namaskaram Sadhguru. Oh. You have often talked about Shiva as the destroyer and I'm a little scared of this destructive aspect of Shiva. Is there a form of Shiva who is a protector as well? Does Shiva protect us? <laughs> Uh, see, uh, you have something with you that is very fragile, that can be broken, that can be destroyed. If you live with this, for always you will live in fear and anxiety. So, the way of Shiva is such, everything that can be broken, if it's broken, there is something here that cannot be broken. Life becomes absolutely carefree and wonderful. It's a good way to go. So Shiva is a destroyer, will he be a prote protector? Uh, yes, but in a very different way than the way you think. Because you can believe what you want to believe. Always people are hoping for something absurd to happen, that when you're just falling down, a hand will come from the sky and hold you. Well, that never happened, but still people never stop believing it. But if you earn the grace of life, and the source of life, if you earn the grace, Life gets lubricated, well lubricated machine you become that you will not get stuck anywhere, you will flow smoothly. I must tell you this now that you're asking this question. The Saptarishis, the first seven disciples of Shiva, who are today known as the celestial sages in India, when they were to part, when he said, you take this, and uh, give it to the world, go in seven different directions, many different parts of the world, parts of the world that nobody from this land had ever seen, those kind of lands. So they were little apprehensive, when they were just about to leave, they asked him, we don't know where we are going, what kind of people we will meet, and uh, will we be able to share these profound truths with them? So if we are in a mess, if we are in a trouble, will you be there for us? Shiva <laughs> looked at them, Adiyogi looked at them incredulously and said, Well, if you are in trouble, I will sleep. Because this is the way of the mystic. He says, I will sleep. When you sleep, right now your individual people, tonight, your individual people because you're not sleeping tonight, but if you sleep, you will become part of the earth, you will become part of everything. You may not know, but you have become, you always are, but you make yourself an individual being, an individual person. But when you sleep, your personality is gone, your gender is gone, your uh, wealth is gone, your qualifications are gone, all your quirks are gone, and you're just one with everything. So Shiva is saying, if you're in trouble, I will sleep, that means I will be one with you. Don't worry. So don't worry about this. Destroyer does not mean he will come and break you down. He will be one with you when you seek him, in that sense. Well, here many manifestations of Shiva have happened. There is a Yogeshwara Linga right here, there's another one in the Adiyogi Alayam, there's of course Dhyana Linga, different dimensions of Shiva, different aspects of energy to serve for those people who don't like the word, different dimensions of life. Dimension, dimension, dimension. Please stay awake tonight, all of you, dimension people <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Tomorrow at least you have some subject to be busy on the Twitter, that's why I'm giving you the opportunity. <coughs> so, at the entrance of the yoga center, we will be consecrating a Kala Bhairava temple sometime this year. It's already nearing completion in terms of construction. Consecration is a little more complex process because this temple is designed and consecrated to serve both the living and the dead. So it's of a different nature. So any time in the next few months it will come up. So sh what you call a Shiva is not a person, it's a dimension <laughs> And there are many dimensions to him. So one of these dimensions are called Kala Bhairava or one who is the master of time. You must understand your life is timed. Never forget this, that you are timed. As you sit here, your life is ticking away. If you are sleeping, your life is ticking away. If you are doing whatever you are doing or not doing, your life is ticking away. Essentially your life is timed. So this dimension of Shiva is about the timekeeper and he is both relevant for the living and the dead. So this is a very special kind of consecration which will be happening. Kalabha